This is video showing how to use plasma as graft holding solution. 4 ml of ACD solution is taken in a 50 cc syringe and 46 ml of blood is withdrawn taking all aseptic precaution in operation theater. Now the syringe is having total 50 ml. Two PRP kit containers are taken and each container is filled with 25 ml of blood. Both containers are put in a centrifuge machine for first spin for 16 minutes at 3000 rpm at 19 degree celsius temperature for separation of RBC and plasma. These are the two containers having plasma separated from RBC. Plasma is withdrawn in syringes from both the containers. Two syringes, one such to be used as graft holding solution and another for preparation of PRP and transfer to another glass tube. This is centrifuge for making platelet concentrate at 5000 rpm for 8 minutes. This is the platelet concentrate in the form of a plug sitting in the bottom of tube. Now PRP is prepared by mixing the platelet in only 2 to 3 ml of plasma. PRP is loaded in 3 ml liver lock syringe having 30 gauge needle. This is the recipient area. The PRP is now injected in entire recipient area just before starting implantation. Another syringe filled with plasma is used as graft holding solution which can be kept in multiple glass petri dish or steel bowl. This is the plasma and they are grafts in other bowl, merged in plasma. When plasma comes in contact with follicle, they form a gel. The graft form a clump or some may float initially. They are assistants to put individual grafts on implanter's hand. Because of fibrin mesh, grafts get adhered to each other, so it is little bit tricky to separate them individually and put them on implanter's hand. All grafts are attached with a fibrin glue or fibrin mesh. So while separating, when you take out one graft, another graft comes out. So you need to separate them. You can see the graft looks well hydrated, shiny, but they are not edematous. They are engulfed or protected by the fibrin scaffold, having activated platelets which have released the various growth factors. To minimize trauma, we use no touch to root stick and place technique and to reduce implantation time two implanters does implantation simultaneously. Both implanters are of equal capability and experience. Both use 3.5 magnification and this is the final show. Thanks, thanks a lot.